Yeah, good evening. They are partying here in Columbia as if they have won this race, but as you mentioned, really too close to call at this point. This was the rematch race. This was the exact same matchup four years ago when Alan Kittleman was the incumbent and Calvin Ball was the challenger. Now it's the other way around and it appears, according to the latest numbers, that incumbent Calvin Ball leads by about 9,000 votes at this point. Again, too close to call. Earlier, he arrived to a cheering crowd here who you could just saw was uh, celebrating. To quote him, he said during a speech a couple of minutes ago, while the race is tight, I think I won. But I think we sent a message. We sent a mandate. We let everyone know that we are meeting this moment. This moment will not pass us by, and each and every person who looks back on this day, you will have your fingerprints on transforming this community. Now, earlier we were out in Ellicott City where Alan Kittleman was at a similar celebration event, thanking supporters and helpers for his campaign, and he told us he thought he ran a great campaign and said win or lose for him. It was a very positive experience, as you know, no winner has been declared at this point. I have confirmed that both Calvin Ball and Alan Kittleman have spoken over the phone, and Kittleman has made it clear right now he'd rather wait and see until all of the votes are counted, until anything is declared here. So it's very possible we may not know the results of this until the early morning hours or even possibly tomorrow. That's the very latest live here in Columbia. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.